Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. I'm starting off the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 March Super Sponsor Giveaway Video Hop here on my channel with an exciting guest designer, which I will introduce here in a bit. The Kendra's Card Challenge video team members are all sharing cards created using the Challenge 13 sketches using products from a few of our super sponsors. And Michelle with East Bay Stamp Chick will be sharing a project using products from super sponsor Pink and Main here on my channel today. She is a member of the Inspiration Team, and you can find links to her channel and Instagram pages in the description box below. There will be a giveaway prize for this video hop where you can have a chance to win a digital download from me, which includes a digital card making kit in the colors of the March Color Palette Challenge that I introduced in my video on March 1st. In order to enter the giveaway for this hop, you'll just need to complete the form that's linked down in the description box after you've watched this video. This hop runs from March 2nd through March 12th of 2024. You can enter multiple times, once for each of the videos that you watch along the hop to have more chances to win. I will be randomly selecting a winner for a digital download after the hop ends, and it will be announced on the community tab here on my YouTube channel. We'd love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe along the way. Now, if you're new to my channel and not familiar with my quarterly card making challenges, I provide a free PDF printable where you can make 15 cards using six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. Plus you can have chances to win lots of prizes by sharing your creations throughout the quarter. The quarterly challenge runs from January 1st to March 31st of 2024, and we have 21 company prize sponsors, plus lots of other prizes totaling more than $1,000. There are prizes drawn each month and at the end of the quarter. I have a video that explains all about the challenge and it also shows how to cut the papers using the cutting guides. Plus it gives all the details you need to know in order to enter. I'll link this introduction video to challenge 13 above and in the description box below. You can download the free printable over on my Patreon page by becoming a free member. It will ask you for your email address and once you've signed up, you will find the post with the current challenge printable pinned at the top of the page. If you become a paid member of my Patreon membership program, you can receive additional benefits and perks. There are different tiers starting at just $5 a month. As an official patron, you can receive bonus printables each month, plus access to a year's worth of previous challenge printables, a printer-friendly version of the challenge, and a shout out on all of my challenge videos. As an all access patron for $10 a month, you can receive everything I've already mentioned, plus a card making kit sampler and access to bonus printables. And for $25 a month, VIP patrons receive additional benefits on top of what's already been mentioned. And these include a handmade card from me, a monthly card making kit, and a crafty live stream session each quarter. For more information, visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's Card Challenges. Now I will turn this over to Michelle, where she will share her card making tutorial featuring Pink and Main. Hey everyone, this is Michelle. I am a video team guest for Kendra's Card Challenge number 13. And you can find me on my own YouTube channel called East Bay Stamp Chick if you're interested. But today I'm going to show you how to assemble sketch number 11 from challenge number 13 for Kendra's Card Challenge. I have everything all set up here. I'm using Dragonfly Dreams from Pink and Main, which includes the paper pad, the stamp set, the dies, and then we do have some enamel dots here as well. And then I have my little sketch here for sketch number 11. So I've got everything pre-cut. We have an A2 size card. We've got two pieces here of cardstock. And what's great about this particular sketch is it covers the whole entire card front. So you don't have to worry about trying to center anything. Everything will be covered. So super easy. It actually only has two pieces of patterned paper, two different ones and then some cardstock from your stash. So you're gonna do your two long pieces first, line those up on the edges of your card base, and then we're gonna take a piece of our cardstock. We're going to do these two little sections here. Whoops. 
So we're going to glue those on. And those meet at the very ends, your cardstock. But they leave a little bit of the cardstock showing on the sides. So again, really easy. You don't have to worry about centering things too much. Getting them even. Okay, so that's ready to go and that's going to sit right there. Really easy card sketch and it looks really cute when it's done. So we will center that on the card as best we can. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I love this pattern paper. I love the colors. Then I already pre-stamped our sentiment using the pink and main, uh, I think it's the Lakeside ink, which goes really well with this polka dot paper. And I'm going to just center that on our card. Again, the sides are completely flush, so you're really just centering top to bottom, and you're just seeing the card stock on the top and bottom. And that's going to go right there. Now you do have the option, you could pop that up with foam tape if you wanted to, and that would be really cute and add some dimension to your card. I'm going to go ahead and just glue it down though. A little bit of pressure to make sure it glues really good. And then I did stamp and die cut out this cute little dragonfly and I colored in the wings with some alcohol ink. So we're going to add this on foam tape to give our dimension and just add a little something there. I went with the happy birthday sentiment because I thought, well, you can always use birthday cards, right? We never have too many birthday cards. And then I want to add some enamel dots on here. Now the sketch doesn't call for any type of enamel dot, but I just thought that would be um, really cute. And let's go ahead. We'll add, I'm going to go with the teal ones. I don't know, I just really love the teal colors on this card. Oops, that one's stuck to my nail. And now it's stuck to my finger. There we go. All right. There you go. Really easy card. Really simple, but looks super cute. And I really love the way it shows off the patterned paper because you can see enough of it that you can see how pretty it is. So that is sketch number 11 from Kendra's Card Challenge number 13. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day. I'd like to thank Michelle for being a guest designer this month and sharing her beautiful card made with products from Pink and Main. If you play along with the challenge, you can have a chance to win a prize pack each month throughout the quarter, as well as a $25 gift certificate once the challenge ends. So thank you to Pink and Main for offering such wonderful prizes and for being a super sponsor. I'd also like to thank all of the other sponsors for card challenge number 13 and all of my patrons shown here. Your support helps to keep the challenges free each quarter for all to enjoy, and I really appreciate it. Hop along to see additional card making inspiration from the video team members featuring other super sponsors. I have a list of all of the KCC 13 prize sponsors in the description box, so I hope you'll check out these wonderful companies to see what all they have to offer. Some of these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you, and this helps to support my work. Any support you can give is greatly appreciated. Now you'll find a link to the playlist that has all of the videos for this giveaway hop in the description box below. And I'd like to invite you to join in on the challenge if you're not already participating. It really is a lot of fun. If you're not already a member of the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group, I hope you'll request to join. This is a private group, so you'll have to agree to some group rules before you'll be approved, but you will find a wonderful community of crafters. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.